Welcome back. The questions are still coming in about COVID-19 and we're continuing our live conversation with state epidemiologist Dr. Benjamin Chan. Let's get to the next question. Beth writes in, I had a PCR test on January 5th, not until January 11th, late in the afternoon, did I get a notice that the test was positive. Was my quarantine period of five days over at the same time I got my results or should I start counting when I received the positive result? So anybody that um, is diagnosed with COVID-19 or, or diagnosed with an infection needs to um, stay home and out of public locations. We, we call this isolation when somebody's infected and quarantine when somebody is exposed. And so in this particular situation, the period of isolation starts um, from when the person's test um, was collected that was positive, or if they're having symptoms, it starts when the symptoms began. Sometimes those can be two different time frames. Um, but if somebody's symptomatic, it starts when the symptoms develop. If they're not symptomatic, uh, it starts when the, the, the date that the positive test was collected. All right, Betsy asks, I got the J&J &J vaccine and the J&J &J full dose as a booster. Are they recommending people who follow this protocol get an mRNA booster as well? Yeah, another another great question and an area of confusion. Um, the the number of doses of a COVID nineteen vaccine that somebody can get that that somebody can get it depends on which vaccine they got um, for their primary series. And so, for somebody that started with the J and J or Janssen vaccine, got the single dose Janssen vaccine. Currently, those individuals are only recommended to receive a single booster shot. That booster shot can be with any of the three currently available vaccines, another Janssen vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine, a Moderna vaccine. Um, but after the booster shot, there are no um, additional recommended doses of the vaccine for, for somebody to get who got that, who started with the uh, the J and J Janssen vaccine. So for right now, it's a maximum of, uh, maximum of two shots that somebody can get if they started with the Janssen vaccine. Now, Barbara asks, with all the at home testing, how will we get an accurate count of positive cases? Are individuals responsible for reporting their own positive results? Yeah, um, so at, at home testing is going to become more prevalent. Um, individuals are not expected or requested to report their own results. Some providers, some schools have been reporting um, at home test results, but um, likely going forward, the accuracy, the overall accuracy of the numbers of new infections will be an undercount uh, because we're not gonna be able to capture all of the at home test results that, that are being conducted. That doesn't mean the data um, is not important. The data uh, tracking the number of infections that are reported to us remains important because it helps us track the trajectory and the trend of the pandemic. Um, but certainly uh, with all the at-home testing, we're, we're not um, shooting for 100% accurate case counting um, in this case. All right, Dr. Chan, some insightful answers to some very good questions today. We thank you so much for your time on this very important matter. Thank you. Have a good evening.